Hi, this is Anthony from Enlightening Animals Resource Center. And today is the day we are going to start the soft release process of letting the three orphan squirrels who are pretty much ready to go now have an opportunity to go out and see if they want to go up in the trees, if they want to come back in and out of the cage. They can do what they please. We're going to open the little hatch and hopefully they go up and they come back tonight because hopefully the first couple of days at least, usually it takes a, a, even a couple of weeks, but sometimes they just go. So we're gonna see what happens if they're ready to go and stick around. They probably will come back tonight to go back into their cage, but we won't know, it's up to them. We're gonna just see what they decide to do. It looks like Nikki's ready right now. Nikki is the squirrel that was cut with the chainsaw, here she is, and has lost part of her tail, so she's the one I really want to keep an eye on because we want to make sure she's able to climb the trees just as well as she is in the cage without the tail. Right, baby? So, you can see we have this little special latch when it's time, and I've set up a branch here. Open that up. Mark is a little jammed. Oh. We've got the branch here for her. And if she decides she wants to go, she's going to come out that way. Come on, Nikki. Here it is. My brothers are a little more timid, so they're back in their cages. Probably gonna unplug the fans for now. Let me shut them on. Shut this one on. Come on, Nick. Let's see what she does. Here you go, Nick. Look. Here's the hole, Nick. Up here. Nick, come on. Come on. Good girl. Come here. Look. Look at the hole. Nicky, look. Here she comes. You gonna come out, Nick? Give her space to decide what she wants to do. Has to be on their terms when they want to come and go. Make sure this is a good spot for her to get out on. There we go. That should hold. Hey, Nick. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Come on. Want to come out? Hmm? Are you ready? Can you check out the trees? Even though I have stopped handling them, she was still very attached to me, probably because of the trauma she went through. So you can see she comes to me when I call and stuff. Um, she does react to other people differently though, so I'm not too concerned that she'll go up to strangers. Come on, Nick. Come on. And it's going to stay open, and you can go back in if you feel safe in there. If that's what you want. Come on. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Let's shut the fans for now. You know, it is hot out here, so... They like the fans. Come on, Nick. Nicky, Nicky. It's important she finds the hole, the little release door, so that she knows how to go in and out on her own. Because that will stay open. Here she comes. Hey, Nick.
Hi Neki. Hi Neki. Hi Neki. Hi Neki. Where you going, Nick? Hmm? Checking things out. Yep, you found something. Hmm? Let me shut this thing off. There we go. There we go, Nick. Where are you going to go, Nick? Nikki. Good girl, Nikki. That's my good girl. I'm just going to sit here. I'm not going to do a thing. <clears throat> Nikki. Here she is. Hey, Nikki. going to take Ricky and Ziggy a little longer probably you know they're really active in the morning I might have to get out them out early in the morning tomorrow the food is in the cage so she'll probably come back into the cage for food last set that I released took off on day one but after a couple of days of being out there they were coming back for food so they I leave the cage open for several weeks after they leave and they do come and go and they start taking things that they've hoarded in their house to their new nest. One of these houses should go up in the trees, so, but I'm going to give them time to be out before we put it up in the tree because they'll probably go back in to go to sleep at night. What you got there, Nick? Hi, baby. How you doing? So a lot of the releases stick around. I can't always tell who's who, but with Nikki, we'll always know it's her. 
because she's very unique with her scars and her short tail. Oh, there she is. She's going up the tree. First tree climb. Oh, she's doing pretty good so far. Don't go too high yet. I want to see how you do, baby. Good girl, Nick. It's okay. She's pretty high up there now. Come on, Nick. Nikki. Uh oh, that's another squirrel. Nick, come on, Nick. Don't go too far up. There's other squirrels up there. Let's go. Come on. First day, they like to go up there and check out the world. <sighs> it's the hardest part is watching them go way up. Up there she is, she's way up there. And there's the other squirrel giving warning sounds and they don't know what that is yet. Come on, Nick. Nikki. Okay, I think I'm going to do this in two parts because we're just going to be staring up at this tree at this point. 
So I'm gonna stop the recording and when I see her coming back down or if the other two get up, then I will do another part of this release video. Okay, she came back down. You wanna go back in, Nikki? You go back in the hole, Nick. Go ahead. Go back up in the hole. There you go. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. That was a good first adventure. Good first adventure, right? We're going to let you out with your brothers later. Okay. And now that's a good first step. Good girl. Good girl. Wasn't that exciting? And you got some peanuts in there now. Look at her eating her peanuts. You're a good girl. You put the fans back on. Mm -hmm. Got it nice and cool in there. I don't think your brothers came out. Good boys and girls. Yes, my sweetie's back. Hmm? He is my sweet girl.